Hi. Well, here's a pretty little rifle for you. This is a Henry Golden Eagle Special Edition. Now this particular one is uh, made in 22 long rifle. Also handles shorts and longs. They uh, made these um, also in 22 Magnum and 17 HMR. Just a fancied up version of their regular rifle. Minus the drill and tap for the scope mounts. Receiver is uh, nickel plated. So is the barrel band and the butt plate. and uh, the little gold eagle on either side of it. Henry likes to make uh, special edition guns. I don't know how well that's showing up there. Anyway, that's uh, where you find the serial number on these. And these are not that uh, are not that high priced, really, considering uh, how fancy they have made them. Most guns today, they just kind of slap them together and put kind of a bead blast or matte finish on them. This one has a lot of engraving on it. Now, of course, the the engraving is all done by machine. It's not like the old uh, guns that uh, were hand engraved. The so modern uh, machining equipment, programmable um, computer controlled equipment, you can do engraving like that uh, pretty fast, very accurately, and not at too much of a cost. Now that's not to take away anything from the old master engravers. It's kind of like saying that a uh, uh, camera produces a sharper, uh, quicker image than uh, somebody that an artist does with painting a picture. <laughs> not the same thing at all. But still, these come out looking very nice. And Henry does a lot of these special editions like this. Anything they can uh, produce that uh, people will buy, I guess. But I've seen uh, a lot of different variations of this with uh, different kinds of engraving, different kinds of finishes, maybe uh, an emblem on the stock or whatever. But these are a good quality little rifle. And Henry is just about... Uh, run all the other uh, gun makers out of the 22 lever action market. Winchester quit their uh, lever action 22s um, quite a few years ago. Marlin dropped out of the market on the 22 uh, levers. I don't know, maybe uh, since they're owned by Ruger now, maybe Ruger will bring it back, but uh, I don't think they have yet. I think Browning still makes their BL-22, but I think that's about it as far as the major gun mark makers in uh, 22 lever guns go. Uh, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe Mossberg still makes one. If they do, I haven't seen one in ages. 
Don't they put nice wood on these? I just thought I'd do a little quick tabletop video with it to show it off a little bit. I have not fired this gun yet. Normally I don't go in that much for the uh, special edition type guns. But the local shop had uh, had this one and a few others uh, that they were been having trouble getting rid of so they it was basically offered to me at cost and uh, I decided to go ahead and pick it up It's such a pretty thing I haven't fired it yet I haven't really decided for sure whether I'm gonna fire it or not but uh, I'll probably give in to temptation and take this thing out and run some rounds through it I not much on guns that you hang on the wall to look at so I probably will uh, take this out and shoot it at some point but like I said I thought I'd just do a little quick uh, tabletop video with it to show it off so thanks for watching